Hey guys, we're back. Uh, playing some more Persona 5 Royal. Yeah, last time we finished off... Mr. Chin Man. <laughs> Call Sheeta. Uh, went through the metaverse a little bit. And now we are starting the next arc. Um, I believe exams are coming up next week. Um, since we just went to the meta first, I think we can't wander around and hang out with Mr. Sojiro. Uh, so I'm hard to study. See, either I study or I watch video. I think I want to increase my knowledge though, so let's just do that. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Let us study. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, level up. Nice. All right. Nice. <laughs> right now we're still well rounded. Everything's at level two. I do know we need a lot more knowledge than uh, the other stats to level it up, so... We'll still do some studying when we can or have to. Hey, I saw on the forum, nice job. Let's dig into that stalker. My phantom aficionado website came in handy, didn't it? Uh, what are you talking about? It's okay, you don't have to say it. I know deep down in my heart that it was useful. Anyway, I'm in Shibuya right now. I'd love it if you could come uh, hear me out about your future actions. I'll be waiting at the diner in Shibuya. You've got to swing by. What is he up to? Have things been? You know, with the special activities? <sighs> Oops, <laughs> sorry about that. I uh, haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. I've been staying up managing the fan site all night. Every night. Every night. I think it's called PR. PR. Fan site? The Phantom Thieves Aficionado website. Fan site for short. <laughs> you need a catchy name if you want people to notice you. This is all a bit of P Thieves propaganda. P Thieves. Basically, there's no point to taking down bad guys if nobody's gonna know about it. That's why I've started a blog for posts from people you guys saved, while filtering out the haters. The haters. We need the Phantom Thieves to be seen in the proper light if we want to make the name popular, right? Oh, maybe I should uh, pull up a thing real quick. Uh, one second. Uh, I forgot what his social link is. Oh yeah, Moon. I forgot about that. I think... Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this counts as a uh, social link meeting, so let's go ahead and choose the right answers here. So luckily, the first choice didn't matter. The second choice, though, you've done good, kid. Really? Just hearing you say that makes my all-nighters worth it! Yeah. So, actually, I really want to know how you punish people. Don't worry, I'm not gonna ask. It wouldn't be any fun if you just up and told me. After all, the Phantom Thieves have a reputation for being secretive. Secretive? I... I wish I could be more like you guys somehow. But I'll still be here to draw attention to the stuff you do. You can leave that part to me. I'm gonna use my fan site to promote the Phantom Thieves and weed out any negative comments. Your popularity is gonna be at my mercy. Or, uh, at my fingertips. No. It's like I'll be your strategic image management representative, so to speak. Alright, sounds cool. I knew you'd understand. Anyway, I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that title's more than just for show. <laughs> so tired. Uh, I've got to say, though, managing the Phantom Thieves' reputation is tiring work. 
The forum gets all sorts of weird posts, including tons of things unrelated to reforming society. It'd defeat the purpose of the site if the truth of the Phantom Thieves was buried among all that garbage. Garbage. Oh, but you don't need to worry. I'll sort through all the trash. Speaking of which, I've actually already found some worthwhile info about our very own school. Our quest to boost your popularity can start close to home. I'll give him my all. Mishima seems motivated. It's level two. Anything special? Nope. All Nothing right. special. Uh, Mishima will now give you information on targets and mementos. After making up target, have a change of heart. Meet with Mishima to deepen the trust between you. He will give you more information on new targets. I might be overworking myself, though. <laughs> Do you think? <sighs> Definitely sounds like it. Man, I'm exhausted. <sighs> I think I'd fall asleep on the spot if I weren't talking to you. I should head home. See you later. Oh, Jane, listen to this. I was checking the fan site earlier and found a bunch of hater comments about the Phantom Thieves. You got me so mad, I'm not even sleepy anymore. At this point, I might as well pull an all-nighter fighting back. Uh, nice hustle, image manager. <laughs> it's strategic image management rep. Uh, the title is important. Try to remember the whole thing, okay? Well, I'm gonna work my butt off. Just watch me. Well, well duty calls. I better set out uh, for the battle of the fan site. Uh, time for a wild night of modding and banning. <laughs> it's like a Discord mod. Okay. Hey. You want to study? What about the dinner in Shibuya that Mishima told you about? Could be a good place for studying, right? <laughs> or diner, I mean. <laughs> Alright, so we can actually leave this area if we want. Though, if uh, we can meet with Sojuro, I think I'll do that. Oh, yeah. Right, there's a. Oh, we can meet with Sojuro, so I'll do that. Uh, we'll buy something. Relaxation set. Uh, I'm not quite sure what those do. That definitely probably uh, wakes us up if we fall asleep. But we'll say some of the stuff. Bionutrient set. Oh. Oh yeah, I do remember there's a garden right outside. I think. Wait. Am I thinking of the right game? I think I'm thinking of Persona 4, actually. Uh, but I'm assuming there is a garden we can have somewhere else. That's why it's all this stuff. Um... What do I want? Um, let's do the bio-nutrient set, I think. Because it's cheaper. I know this stuff, like, sells you status ailment recovery stuff, but I think I'm okay. I do have a lot of Petra and, like, some items that heal those status ailments. Let's not worry about that. Um, but yeah, we'll probably hang out with Sojuro. I just want to level up as many confidants as possible. Uh, it's only Sojuro, looks like. Yep. Let's get closer. Right then, rank three. All right, that's it for t tomorrow's curry. Uh, hey, how's it going? You getting any better at remembering how to handle different bean types? Now then, there are three factors that determine the flavor for a cup of coffee: grind, heat, and time. First, we uh, first up is the grind. For the siphons we have here, we're aiming for medium fine. Are you listening to me? What grinder are we supposed to use? Medium fine. <laughs> Anything goes. <laughs> right, keep up the good work. 
It doesn't net much profit given the effort it takes, but hey, money is money. I'm not gonna forgive you if you serve your or our customers crap coffee though. Just remember that. Oh yeah, apparently if mess up once then he's gonna like pretty much fire us. Oh, who could this be? Yes, hello. How'd you get this number? Now? Where? It's fine. Sorry. Sorry, something just came up. Uh, we can keep going with the lesson some other time. Uh, is it trouble? What? Are you worried about me? It's nothing you need to concern yourself over. Just do the dishes while I'm gone. Oh, and remember to shut off the gas before you close up shop. It's nice having someone around to help at times like this. Turns out you're actually a harder worker than I thought. Keep it up. I feel like my bond with Sojuro is growing deeper. Heck yeah. Level three. All right. The rest is on you. Okay, I'm off. Uh, don't we need all our food when I'm gone? Hey, you get everything closed up? Uh, sorry about earlier. I have to take care of some business. But don't worry, I'll put you to work. We've got lots of time on our hands. I'm ready to work. Uh, ready to go, huh? Uh, some work ethic you got there. Well, uh, just make sure you turn off the stove before you head to bed. You know, I know it's good to bring a persona of that particular like type into the talk, but I wonder what it actually does. What? Whoa, what's up with the goggles? You going snowboarding or something? I hear the cedars blooming uh, later than usual. Climate change and what have you. God, pollen allergies suck. I couldn't go to the mountains even if I wanted to. My eyes and nose would gush like rivers. That sounds awful. Seems pretty rough. That's right, and the news said pollen season was starting later than usual this year. Uh, looks like the pollen problems have only just begun. People are about to have some itchy eyes. This uh, might affect Momentos the same way uh, weather does. I'm not even sure if I'll go to Momentos. I guess if there's no confidants to talk Morning. to, then I will uh, go to Momentos. Uh, eh? <laughs> uh, you have allergies? Allergies? Oh, uh, maybe. I do feel kind of dazed and everything feels weird. But, um, actually, I've been having this feeling that someone's watching me. It's my uh, I hope not. Oh, uh, maybe I just can't shake off the feeling of infiltrating a palace. At the palace, we're always cautious of not being noticed, you know? So it no, it's Makoto. My imagination. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely Makoto. Wait, hey, don't you think the atmosphere at school is kind of different now? You mean with there being no Kamashita? Yeah, nobody ever talked about him out in the open like this before. Hmm, that's true. I wish someone just thank us for it or something. Either way, everything has worked out for the best. After all, Kamashita's actually been punished for his crimes. That's a victory enough for me. I agree. I wonder what's gonna happen to him now. I mean, he's a famous criminal at this point, right? He's gonna have to deal with people hating him forever. That might be true, but I don't have any sympathy for him. He got what he deserved. For sure. Of course, weren't something supposed to happen to him, like supposed to die, but maybe it's different in Royal. I don't know. Hey, I have some new info for you. I saw it on the fan side, but I've heard about it at school too. Anyway, there's a guy at school whose bullying has gone too far. I want to help the victim, but that's impossible for me. But I bet the Phantom Thieves could do something about it. I mean, you already changed the heart of that stalker, so this should be a breeze, right? Uh, piece of cake. 
You're amazing. The bully is a brown-haired guy, frequently seen standing out front at the or of the school entrance. And from what I can tell, his name is Daisuke Takanashi. Uh, I know you can handle this. Oh. I know it's a small case, but we have a name, so we should be able to consider him a target. Quest received. I don't think I want to go right now, especially if there's pollen. I'm not 100% sure what pollen does, but we can definitely find out at some point. Uh, we got some inf info from Mashima. Let's head to the head. Ed. Oh, never mind. We have to go. <laughs> Take it back. Uh, if we're all here, uh, you want to go to Mementos, right? What are you talking about? Don't we need to study for exams? Let's go. Eh, don't worry about that stuff. Let's ignore the details and just go charging in head first. <laughs> um... That's easy for you to say, but we don't ha even have a target. Let's go. That's actually not a problem anymore. Some intel has come in from Mishima. All right. Oh, perfect timing. Let's just go in right now, then. Uh... <laughs> You'll really do anything to avoid studying, huh? Uh, confirming with mem 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 Mementos request. Check your information on a target by selecting View Request at the hideout or by pressing Triangle to review requests in the main menu. Once the information has been confirmed, you can begin by selecting Explore Mementos. Mementos can be explored even without a target, but time will pass as it would in a palace infiltration. Exercise caution when nearing a time limit. Uh, don't think I want to explore today. Calling card. Do we send one last time? The treasure materializes when we change a target's subconscious with the calling card. That's the rule when dealing with a palace, but in Mementos, it seems like you can just go for the target immediately. What? Wait, what? We don't need a calling card or nothing? Something else already exists that fulfills that role. Fortunately for us, Mishima put a comment up in the forum saying the Phantom Thieves are coming. For a small target, that's enough of a calling card. That alone will put some fear in them for a while. Oh, well, that's nice. Um, yeah, that's why the nav picked him up. Huh? Can't really leave something that important to someone else. The desires of the memento shadows are nothing compared to those of the palace rulers. Still, we need to unanimously agree on our target. No ignoring the rules, even for the smaller ones. Anyway, let's get to discussing the intel we've gathered. This intel is on an arrogant brown-haired bully. He's a student at Shujin Academy. Things have gone a little too far for just bullying, though. He's abusing and blackmailing kids. I'm gonna make him pay. He's the perfect target. Come on, let's take him down. Are you sure you aren't just excited to go to Mementos? <laughs> then again, we can't really leave a guy like that be. We should go. No objections, right? Yep. Uh, we're good to go if you're okay with it. Uh, that's a unanimous decision. Okay, all that's left now is to take the target in Mementos. Or take down the target in Mementos. Alright, uh, let's not do this. Guess I'll go study at home. I really don't want to worry about the pollen. Oh, we're going to Takemi, that's right. Uh, anything else can we do? Uh, let's go to the air shop. So we need to get some more stuff. Oh, what's here? Oh, Ryuji. Do we want to hang out with Ryuji is the question. Um, I think they're both level 2, right? Alright, what's that? 65. Um, so, yeah, Doctor's level 2. Origi's level 3. Okay, so let's hang out with uh, the Doctor then. Let's say it's Monday. I don't know, I feel like we can hang out with the teacher every day. But at the same time, this week... Uh, we don't have that many days. I don't know. Uh, let's just go to Shibuya, go to the air shop place. Sell the stuff we got. And I think I'm just gonna hang out with Ryuji, actually. You again. I need to ask him about modified gun- mono guns. I don't have enough guts, though. I want to make a purchase. This is about the only thing I can sell to you, kid. Okay. That's it. It's you should be grateful. Fortunate. It's very low level suspenders. I guess 
Oh, it's this attachment part, though. Oh, don't forget. All right. Okay. I right, guess that's go. all we got. Um, I can talk about it, but... I'm pretty sure I need the next level of guts. Let's be able to do this. Yeah, I need Dauntless. Come on. Should we not? Yeah, Big Bang Burger is not enough. We should be doing other things for... Guts. Um, <laughs> everyone's getting screwed over by the pollen. Oh. I guess we won't. Um, let's hang out with Ryuji. I don't know if we can actually meet with Takami at night. That'd be cool. No, let's hang out with Ryuji. If I can come in closer, I don't think I'm in keeping my bond. That's okay, we'll just hang out. Wanna get going? Now maybe we shouldn't be running around the pollen, actually. <laughs> oh well. This is the next time we'll probably rank up. So hopefully we can hang out with either Sojiro or to Kemi. Ah, you're back. Yo. Oh yeah, another box. Heck yeah. Hey. Mega fertilizer. Oh. Oh, we can. Or the doctor. Oh. Sam's are such a downer. I'm already bummed about tests coming up. I'm in trouble for anything that's not English. I haven't been studying at all. Oh, maybe we can make some progress if we keep an eye on each other. Want to study together? Oh. We could. I'm pretty sure when we study, we can rank up with her next time we see her. Uh, let's go and do that, actually. Here, big help. Then let's meet at the diner in Shibuya. That long sentence is tough. I try to think about what the underlined section means. Are you starting to understand how to dissect these problems? What if this is oops? What if this is part of the social link conversations? I don't think so actually. Yeah, so this is its own random thing. Right, so let's try to figure this out. Uh, I think so. I'm so jealous you get a one-on-one -on -one study session with Lady Anne James. It seems like you're making more progress than usual, too. Oh, yeah! This is much better than studying by myself. You only get two notes by yourself. I'm actually not so good at this because of my time abroad. Anyway, uh, time to study. Here we go. Do you think you can help me with math next? Heck yeah. Let's get back. That's definitely better than one or the other. Like, studying by yourself. Mm -hmm. Alright. One more day. Oh, it's Makoto. Like attending school seriously. You also seem pretty close with Takamaki-san if you're both coming to school together. You just transferred here, though. I guess you two really click. Jealous? We're in the same class, bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Makoto. I see. I know she's, she's just very cold right now because she's morning. like kind of being pushed Mr. Kamashita. to do but was that all there was to it? this investigation way, thing. Closer inspection should clear everything up. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ahem. 
Ahem. Exams start tomorrow, are you all ready? Well, shall we begin? Now then, picking up from last time. The end of the Heian period marks the rise of the samurai, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for. As described in the tale of the Haike, Haike, it was a time when all that was great would fall from grace. It wasn't unusual for the heroes of yesterday to sh be struck down as rebels of the present day. By the way, sympathizing with the loser or the weak is called magistrate's patronage. That term came from Minamoto no Yoshin Yoshinitsune. It was, uh, and it also became a way of referring to him as well. All right, Dream Goon. A what? Do you know the answer? You know the time period Yoshin <laughs> was active in, don't you? Uh, probably not the same period we're talking about now. Oh, was he in the same time period? Shitsune. Oh, he is in the period they were talking about. This <laughs> is it. Correct. That's right. He supported his brother Yuri. Yoritomo during the Heian period. But despite uh, his contributions in defeating the Taira, he was driven out by his brother and ultimately executed. However, in the centuries that followed, Yoshitsune uh, became more popular as a tragic hero. Wow, really? Dreamkun seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Wow, you must really. Uh, must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Smart enough to use Google. I do like that we can go to the bathroom and check to see like how close we are to the next level. That's very nice that they added that. Rather than sliding with the one or siding with the one who has overwhelming power, people would prefer the underdog opposing them. It's sort of like rooting for a minor league baseball team instead of an all-star major league one. I can understand that. It's like, if I don't root for them, then who will? Especially when they win. What are your thoughts? If you're confident in your exams, you can always liven the day up and head to Mementos. It'd be nice if we could get some info on Atari before we went in, though. Hey, hey phone is buzzing. Be sure to check it, okay? Kinda wanna talk today? I don't want to talk today. Well, more like I gotta unload all this crap off my chest. Why don't we grab some ramen? You know, checking things up. I'll take you over to a special shop I know. No, I'm not gonna do this yet. Might hang out with Anne if possible. Hey, I came up with a method of strengthening my heart. But it's kind of hard to do it by myself. Will you train with me? Yeah, let's go ahead and hang out with Anne. Thanks. We'll be going to Inokashira Park. It's really big. Well, let's meet up in Shibuya and head over together. Oh yeah, it's a new place. Noise. Um, flourishing with natural beauty, this park is the pride of mm, Kichi Joji. Natural respite. Or respite. 
get away from the stress of city life. Couples often ride boats in the pond. All right. You now have information on a new hangout spot. This park. You can also invite people who may like it there to hang out with you. Uh, there are a number of hangout spots in the city, such as shops, event venues, landmarks, and so on. Confidants will each have their own favorite hangout spot. If you go there with them, your bond will grow even deeper than it normally would. You can learn about hangout spots by having confidants invite you there or by reading about them in books. Try to find out as many as you can. Man, big open places like this are great. I think my training is going to go super good today. So remember how I said before that I want to strengthen my heart? Well, I came up with a way to do it. Uh, does it matter? Um. Uh, I think having a strong heart means you don't let anything get under your skin. So basically, I want you to say stuff to me and I'll try not to get phased by it. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, this one doesn't matter either. What kind of stuff? We've already started. I won't let that hesitation shake me. Or what? <laughs> I guess I should say something to him. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Next one doesn't matter either. Come on, hit me with your best shot. You're... In your head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And? Uh, this one doesn't matter either. That response was annoying. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What else? Uh, can we stop yet? This was actually the best choice. <laughs> You're giving up? That means I win! <laughs> Jeez. Huh? Wait, is this how the game's supposed to go? <laughs> oh well, on to round two! Yes. Bring it on! Uh, this one doesn't matter. Yeah, these don't matter. You're a genius. You know, I kind of feel like this won't make our persona stronger. Um, you finally get it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, something's not right. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I just got an email from the, my agency. The next shoot is really far. Wait, what's this on the end? It's a nose thing to pay extra attention to the time and place they tell you. Apparently some models haven't been showing up at all lately. Then when asked why they didn't come, the models all say they heard there was a change in schedule. It sounds like shoots have been really hectic with all the scrambling uh, they've had to do for substitutes. Uh, has that happened to you? Huh? No, I haven't missed a single shoot so far. It probably really confuses the staff to see a sub showing up too. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me. Though actually, my first modeling gig was as a sub. That was back when I was still in Finland. My parents didn't have enough models for their event. What? Oh, haven't I told you? My parents are both fashion designers who put on some seriously extravagant shows. They jump from country to country. So I only really see them for half of a year. Maybe less uh, these days. Freedom sounds nice. Yeah, I guess I can afford to be pretty relaxed these days. Plus, it would probably be tough being a phantom thief with my parents around, don't you think? It was rough when I was little, though. It was just me and our living caretaker. I didn't really have any friends. Wow, <laughs> that got dark fast. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, when I'm modeling, it, seems, it almost feels like I'm connecting with my parents somehow. It's a nice hobby to have, but I don't think I want to make a living out of it. After all, that's... Where Kamashita uh, first spotted me. That's how our class started those rumors. Besides, the Phantom Thieves are more important to me right now. Anybody can be a substitute there. Or nobody can be a, my substitute there. Yes. That's why I need to get stronger. Yes, you are correct. Alright. Nice. Honestly, I should be trying to, like, level up my uh, party members' ranks so they can learn all these nice moves. 
So yeah, I'll try to focus on that. Uh, when I was little, I used to watch this anime where the main villain was this female thief. She'd lose the hero every time, but I always thought she was cool. She's talking about like Catwoman. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't really a good person per se, but uh, she was beautiful, strong, sincere, and even sexy. She always said whatever she wanted, did whatever she wanted. Uh, she knew what justice was for her. I wanted to grow up to be just like her someday. <laughs> Hope I'm getting closer now, if only just a little bit. I mean, if you're talking about Cat Girl, you're definitely very close. <laughs> kind of like dressing up like her. Tokyo Tourist. Hey, it's me. Thanks for coming with me today. So after we met up, I tried doing some runaway uh, runway walks on the way home. Like how a cool, sexy woman would walk. Then some girl who was watching me nearby started to copy me and runway walk with me. <laughs> she had have to see me, right? Do you think she thought I was cool? Could be. <laughs> it's almost, it's, uh, almost enough to make me kind of, uh, make me blush, kind of. To be honest, I kind of feel bad for her. She has no idea that the real me is a human disaster. And yes, yeah, how it is. Uh, mm, I guess I still got a long uh, way to go, but I'm not giving up. I made a decision that I'm going to get stronger, so I need to overcome my obstacles. Thanks for hearing me out. Okay, bye. Bye. Alright, can we hang out with Shoujiro? Uh. You're back. Oh, crossword. Hey, hey. Let's play a little crossword. All right, let's see how easy or hard this is. What are the May Blues? <laughs> I really don't know. Doom's partner. A what? <laughs> Plant disease. A what? <laughs> oh, these are hard. I'm very bad at crosswords. Dull pain. Numb? Is there an N? There's no N! Dull pain is ache. Ache. Plant disease. Doom's partner. One of the May Blues. I might just have to give up and read or uh, look it up. What are the May Blues? Doom's partner plant disease. Why are these so hard? <laughs> Why are we just bad with trivia? Plant disease. Alright, I give up. <laughs> May Blues? Then you always gonna ask. Malays, I would have never figured that out. <laughs> Alright, give me some trivia. In Japan, the May Blues are named as such due to the change of seasons and the number of people who fall ill after the long holiday at April's end. Similar terms are used across the world. S students in the USA get the September Blues after summer vacation, while the UK has the January Blues to contend with. All right. I'm dumb. Nice. I right. uh, can't hang out with Sojuro. Hey. I'm going to think. Yeah, okay, see where my knowledge is at. Maybe it's like almost halfway. Oh, no idea. So I still have a long way <laughs> to level up my knowledge. Charm. Yep, everything's pretty bad right now. Uh, I think someone's going to ask me to go study with them. Probably Ryuji this time, right? I probably won't hang out with them because I already know next time I hang out with them I'm supposed to level up. Of course it will accrue for the next rank up. I don't know. Exams are coming up soon. Uh, you're not 
getting a jump on studying without me, right? Right? If you're gonna do it, you wanna do it together? I'm in serious trouble. So what's gonna be? Do you wanna start with Ruji? Let's decide later. Can I hang out with Takemi? Mm, ooh, Street Orator. Uh, let's go talk to that guy, actually. Uh, Station Square. So I know who he is, I just haven't talked to him before. There he is. Please consider what I have to say. There have been far too many incidents regarding uh, recently to ignore. Can anyone deny this? The runaway train incident, mysterious psychotic breakdowns, a school with a corrupt teacher. We have yet to discover the truth of it all. The apathy that permeates society is a direct result of negligence by our government and this media. You. You're listening quite intently. Or attentively. Are you interested in politics? I'm interested. Are you a student? I'm delighted to captivate the interest of someone your age. Mm. Mm. I could use the help of a young person, but I can't hire someone without any experience. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry about that. However, I'd be happy if you stopped by to hear one of my speeches again. Well then, uh, that's all for today. I'm heading to the beef bowl shop. Hmm. That old man's speech was impressive. That kind of talk might be useful for negotiations in the metaverse. But I guess he's looking for someone with more experience. If you could just show him your dedication. Wait. He said he'd be in the beef bowl shop, right? I bet he's talking about the one on Central Street. What if you work part time at the beef bowl shop? Show him that. I'll show him what uh, today's youth can do. Look, I know it's a stretch, but a true phantom thief can't let an opportunity like this slip by. Well, I definitely need to do that then. Uh, I see, this is a random person right here. Is this another social link? A famous teacher uh, caught sexually harassing students. It's hard to trust adults in this world. That's why I've poured my soul into this song to help restore our hope. I give you Breaking School. Oh, so he's just some random singer. See, not a social link. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Can you feel the passion of my soul? I felt it. Yeah, rock. Don't be late for school. Got it. Hmm. I wonder if that's supposed to be a character I care about. Um... Oh yeah, I need to go to the beat bowl shop and see if I can pick up a job there. Where's the beat bowl shop? Oh, it's over there. You serious? Oh, it's Mishima. Uh, How the pollen is really bad this year. <laughs> Are you okay? You seriously look like a criminal if you had one of those algae masks to go along with your cool glasses. Oh, oh. what? Hey, do you remember that horrible person I texted you about? You're gonna change their heart, right? I believe if anyone can do it, it's the Phantom Thieves. Oh. Let's see. Might as well go for something more expensive and part-time employees got it rough, but we're gonna develop your proficiency. Uh, how do I get the job? That's the question. Loading store. Wow. What do you want? Uh, let me talk to your manager. Uh, what's up? Hey man, thanks for giving me the time of day. Everyone avoids me because my Japanese is pretty rough. I'm just trying to promote this bar, you know? You're just a kid, though. I can't let you in. Sorry, man. Got me some slack. Okay. How do I get a job? Transient man. Don't see too many people like me, do you? Sorry. Yeah, scared you. Guess that's no surprise given the way I look. I had a life once, you know. I was an art student. Yeah, I was cool and everything. Oh, poor guy. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm taking selfies right there. It's pretty funny. Um, but okay, I guess I'll just study with Ryuji then. Cause I don't know how to get a job. <laughs> I forgot where to find like a pamphlet to read. I think it's in the station. Let's go there. There should be a place to... There it is. We need... yeah. Alright, part-time jobs will cost time to pass, but also enable you to earn money and raise stats such as charm and kindness. Some jobs require you to have high enough stats before you can apply. Depending on the job, you may only work during certain times of day. Triple seven. Uh, I want the beef bowl shop. Triple seven. Yeah, I don't want to do this. What are your thoughts? Are no Becca? What is that? Wait, what's the beef bowl shop's name? Cause that's the real question. Might be that or no something something. I can't read. It doesn't say what the name of the shop is. I wonder if I can't get that job yet. So like a future time. Hey, how did you know? What are your thoughts? Triple seven. Oh. Oh yeah, there it is. May improve your proficiency. Yep, beatball shop. Gotcha. We can go to Shibuya at night now. Let's call him right now. now I guess I'll go ahead and... Do I want to work right now? We need it. Just blah, blah, blah. I'll be waiting. We're right by the... Okay, so I don't have to work right now. But I'll start working there next time. Uh, check what dates you work at your part-time job by opening the menu with the triangle... Yeah, it's like the calendar. Alright, uh, we're gonna study though. Just because we want to buff knowledge in Ryuji's social link. That's a huge help. I'll be waiting at the diner in Shibuya, which we are already nearby. Yeah. Huh, I'm starting to get the hang of this. Um, so I guess that's what I do with this one. Uh, wait, that's no good. Damn it. What did I mess up on? Maybe a careless mistake. Yeah, it was probably just a simple error. Good advice. Oh, yeah. What if I get three notes regardless? On oh, which one I chose? Oh, Morgana's clipping out of the bag. Hmm. Oh, here. If I just fix this... Well, problem solved. You're freaking amazing, dude. I'm gonna go grab a refill. Solving that question's got me real pumped up. Wanna head back? All right, cool. All right, test time. Oh, it was raining. I can't believe this. A school assembly during exam week? The hell are they thinking? It's the day after tomorrow, right? I wonder if it's going to be about Kamashita again. Yeah, I can't believe the school is messing with our schedules like this. I don't care what it's about. It's going to have nothing to do with us students. I wish they'd stop dragging us into their mess. Seems pretty rough. The mandatory assembly during exam week, huh? It sounds rough for all of you. It's all good. Well... 
Sure now then, uh, let the first day of exams begin. Well, that's that one guy. One historical feature or figure inspired the idiom of favoring the magistrate. Uh, Yoshinu Moon this guy. Yoshitsune. Sounds about right. Yeah. Mm. Essay question. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Provide the reason why Minamoto no Yoshitsune is viewed as a hero. Yoshitsune had a brother, uh, right? Uh, I think his name was... That. Pretty much the same name, but different name. <laughs> different surname. Yeah, that's the one. He worked under Yuri Tomo. He did a lot for his brother, but they ended up coming into conflict, and in the end, when they had to oppose each other, uh, Yuri Tomo won. Yeah, Yuri Tomo. Uh, Yoshida considered suicide after being exiled by his brother. Oh, really? <laughs> That's not what they told us. Daddy executed him. But even though he lost. Yoshitsune is the one who went down in history as a hero. That's probably because people tend to sympathize less with figures in power and sympathize more with the underdogs. Uh, the weak. Yeah, not just any weak person though. People love rooting for an underdog who stands up for or stands up to powerful oppressors. And Yoshitsune did that to his brother. So the reason Yoshitsune is treated as a hero is because he stood up against the powerful uh, Yoritomo. Yep. Finished in time. Perfect. Time's up. Put your pencils and or put down your pencils and put your hands under the discs. <laughs> put your hands under your disc. Thursday. Let's get started. Let's get started. Oh yeah, this guy. <laughs> it's funny because his picture, his like portrait, looks different from his character model. Because his character model looks like he's chubby, or chubbier than his portrait. <laughs> Today's the second or day of exams. Uh, you may begin. Which brain function is responsible for the phenomenon of seeing illusion in this figure? Uh oh. Cognition. Mm, this is not what I thought they would ask. Which brain function? Responsible for seeing illusions. Cognition. That's so. all. Ooh, we can do this. We can do it. Which of the following maps can you paint without any adjacent areas being the same color? Probably both, actually. I believe it's anything can be painted with four colors. Which of the following maps? Can you paint without any adjacents? Both, baby. Thought so. Ooh, we can do this. Only two questions that day. <laughs> Okay, class, let's get started. Yes, Kawakami. That's not Kawakami. Whoops. <laughs> Does everyone have a test? Then, then you may begin. In the book that defined a malefactor as a chief factor in the progress of the human race. Uh oh. Devil's Dictionary. Name the book that. Find a malefactor. The Devil's Dictionary. Ooh, we can do this. What character archetype refers to a woman? Femme Fatale. Femme Fatale. Ooh, we can do this. That's it. <laughs> Only two questions. Love how day one was like the hardest one. Probably because it's the most recent information. Uh, School-wide assembly at this time of year? Really? That we can bring our flashcards in? Kamashita is just one of the many things wrong with this school. 
I've got to hurry home and study. That Kamashita is still causing us trouble, even when he's gone. Hate that guy. Ever since that specific incident, many of you have voiced concerns that I could not bear to ignore. We believe the mental health of our student body is absolutely vital. So we've acquired the services of a therapist. Oh, oh. This is how they introduced the new guy. Nice. Mr. Counselor. Isn't he hot? Isn't he hot? It's nice to meet you all. Oh, he's like, uh, not as... Whoa, his voice is sexy. <laughs> is it? My name is... Huh? <laughs> how do I work this thing? My name is Takto Maruki. Takto. Takto? I know that name. For me to your <laughs> Did you just headbutt the mic? What the heck? No need to be formal with me, though. I'm just here to counsel anyone who's interested. It's kind of cool how they did change the main story, because I remember correctly. Well, I guess it still might happen. But I do remember in the original that Kamashita actually, like, suffers from a psychotic breakdown. I guess he still could. I just don't remember when it happened in the original. Thank you, Dr. Maruki. Yo. You ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, our schools made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And Dr. Uh, Dr. What's his name? Maruki. Yeah, wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? <laughs> clowning it up. Do you really think he'll do us any good? Ryuji. They don't be mean. Hey there. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you... Dream-kun. How do you know our names? Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Those that had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. Uh, I think I'd end up in a castle. Mm. Yeah. I can definitely believe that. So, what do you want with us? Yeah, come, she's a bitch. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier. But would you three be interested in counseling? Or oh, extra counseling? Nope, not at all. <laughs> Ryuji. Huh? How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah, but if you come to my office, free snacks. You can have free snacks. All you can eat <laughs> would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So, how about it? Uh, tell me more of these snacks. <laughs> what? She doesn't believe in it either. I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly oh. involved with Mr. Kamashita. Guess that's true too. It's in the school's interest for its students. Ah, the school's interest, huh? Uh -huh. I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Sounds catch. I know. If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Like ways to hone your concentration before exams or not getting nervous on dates. Oh. How does that sound? Sounds good, actually. Uh... Mental training. Uh, if I can make good use of this, it may aid in our Phantom Thieves activities, too. There's also snacks. <laughs> snacks. <laughs> all right, all right. Enough with the snacks. Snacks, though. So, which way are you leaning? I want them snacks. No harm in a little chat. <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Snacks. Mm, yeah. Really? Then, I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. Okay, I'll see you later. 
Thanks for taking my counseling into consideration. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. Hell yeah. I've made a deal with Maruki. It's funny that this is like called the counselor arcana. <laughs> like, is that always been an arcana? It's the first time I've heard of it. It's hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Mm-hmm. Just a new a guy. <laughs> Give me a name. A name. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the counselor persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. What's the hold up, dude? What's the hold up, dude? Keeping you like this. Well then. Okay, quiet down. All right, settle down. I have an addendum to the early assembly regarding the counseling you've all been offered. The counselor will be available to you starting after school today in the nurse, nurse's office. Dr. Maruki will only be posted here through November, so be sure to speak with him as soon if or with him soon if you feel the need. For the majority of you, it's your choice whether or not you see him, but there are a few students I'll speak with later. The students, uh, the school's decided visits to Dr. Maruki will be mandatory for these individuals. That's us. Yo, you guys gotta go for it? What, the counseling? Kinda sounds like we're being forced to. I told Maruki I'd do it, but... I don't know if I'm really that into the idea, you know? Not much choice. Yeah. Probably better not to draw more attention to ourselves anyway. I think I'm gonna, uh... try going today. Mm. Counseling, huh? Lady Ant's right. Make sure you visit him so you don't draw attention to yourself, okay? Yes. 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 It's Ant. <sighs> welcome. Uh, welcome. Are you here for a counseling session? Yeah, uh, is now a bad time? <laughs> not at all. It's always a good time, so long as I'm not already listening to a student. Already listening to a student. I'm so glad you're here. Would you care for a snack? Well, shall we begin? <laughs> shall we get started? Oh, uh, but first, just relax, alright? I'm only here to listen to whatever you wish to talk about. Yes. Mm, sure. Although I really only have one thing on my mind right now, anyway. Hmm. Yes, I'd say that makes perfect sense. But don't force yourself into talking with me. Uh, you could even go just grab some snacks and be on your way. <laughs> if you wanted. No, it's uh, it's alright. I need to know, or I know I need to talk to someone about this anyway. That is, if you're willing to listen to the super long story. I absolutely am. Take all the time you need. I see. That's such a horrible thing to do to someone. Yes, that's why I wanted to get even with him, or Shiho. Mm hmm. And? And I did. <laughs> At first, I thought Kamashita ought to face the same fate Shiho was going to put herself through. But. But. Later, I realized that wasn't right. If he did take his own life, it wouldn't undo Shiho's suffering. In fact, it'd just give him the easy way out. Right. 
Is that so? You know, you're quite the wise, level-headed young woman, said Kamaki-san. Huh? Uh, I think you've got that, uh, got the wrong... Nope. In fact, I think you're wiser than I was at your age. I wasn't anywhere near as mature as you are now. It's not like I did anything special, though. If I hadn't gone through my own uh, share of hell, I don't think I'd be so mature either. I see. Uh, so what's on your mind now? Mm, right now? Let me think. Mm, I'm just hoping Shiho will get better quickly. We both suffered a lot, but I just want to get back to laughing and having fun together like we used to. At this point, I don't give a rat's ass about Kamashita. Yeah. <laughs> now there's a healthy outlook. Uh, you can't change the past, but you can still keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it's definitely... It, it'd be, be, definitely be better if none of this had happened at all, but... Quite. <laughs> I definitely agree with you there. But it's impossible to wipe away or wipe every tragedy from history. Yeah. <laughs> if only, right? Everyone would be so much happier if we could actually do that. Oh, it seems I lost track of the time. We should wrap things up here for today. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Oh no, thank you. I feel a ton better uh, now that I've that that's all off my chest. Be careful, okay? <laughs> Good to hear it. You deserve it. Feel free to stop by again sometime or anytime. Okay, I'm gonna get going. Will do. See you around. Interesting. What do we get to meet with? Um, Maruki. Well, I went in for counseling. You're going soon too, right, James? How'd it go? Hmm. Well, it honestly wasn't as rough as I was expecting. I think you should just go and give it a shot. Dr. Murky's easier to talk to than you think. Okay, see you tomorrow. Uh, the only problem is I don't have. Um. My counselor persona. I don't know if that's the thing. Oh, it's Masu, whoever her name is. <laughs> she still hasn't introduced herself. Masumi? Wait, Kasumi. Ah, hello. Are you here for a session as well? You too, huh? Yes. Yes, that's right. Dr. Maruki's a wonderful counselor. I've actually been seeing him for a while. Before he ever uh, he ever came to Shujin. Uh -huh. Oh? I didn't know you two were acquainted. Don't go over selling me too hard though. <laughs> Yoshisiwa-san. Yoshizawa-san. Uh, I'm really nothing special. <laughs> well, I need to get going. Please excuse me. Uh, what say we get started? Mm, thank you for coming. Uh, we made a deal. Oh, I should start uh, looking at the proper choices here. Yeah, I don't have a counselor uh, persona, so I'm only getting plus ones instead of plus twos. Uh, well, uh, I'll try to make sure it's worth the trouble. Hmm, thank you. I think I've gotten a good grasp of, this, of the situation you're in, Dreamcom. Well, full disclosure, the school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer here. Uh, it's in the past. Alright. No, these don't matter. Uh, but you weren't before, I take it? Hmm, try not to push yourself too hard, okay? So, uh, now that you told me more about yourself, uh, I think I've realized something. It seems like you've largely been able to reconcile your internal world uh, with your external one. I should note that it's really, truly impressive. Even most adults can't reliably <laughs> manage that. A what? How to put it? Uh, you know how everyone has an internal reality? Some conception of themselves they're striving for. for example. Like wanting to be a model student or wanting to be loved and relied on, that kind of thing. But that uh, idealized reality and the one in actuality are often far apart. The gap is responsible for a lot of people's pain. Mm. Not everyone can ace their exams and not everyone can be the heroes they wish to be. Hmm. 
You've already been through so much. Uh, that kind of suffering is usually enough to twist people up into dark places. But you, you're standing up to it and confronting a tough, painful reality. To me, that's incredibly admirable. Then again, maybe that's a little weird for you to hear from a guy you just met, huh? Uh, but it sounds right. <laughs> it kind of creeped me out here. <laughs> <laughs> Not even any deflecting self-deprecation. Uh, you really are strong. I'm sorry. Well, let's see. Sorry this went on longer than I expected. Somehow the conversation just took on a life of its own, I guess. Say. Hey, uh, I've actually got one last request. Do you mind? You know, I... I'm actually doing certain research along with my duties as a counselor. It's not quite like counseling, more like a type of psychological treatment. Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts. What do you think? Or what they think? How they feel? How about it? If I get far enough with it, I think it'll be able to help a lot of people. So... Yeah, it doesn't matter. So what? Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I guess my point is, I'd like to ask you to help with that research. I'll, uh, all you'd have to do is listen to my theories, then tell me if they spark any ideas or realizations on your end. Please, anytime's good for me. Uh, I can work around your schedule, and uh, I've got a lot of snacks too. <laughs> you can have them; they're yours. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> really? Yes, you're a lifesaver. Well, let's see. I know. Maybe I could teach you some tips for mental training. I happen to know a lot of on, uh, a lot on the subject. I'm sure I can cook up a special regimen for you. If you're dedicated enough, I'm sure you could draw out your full potential. Thank you. <gasps> okay. Well, I guess that's our second deal. I feel like my bond with Maruki is growing deeper. Deeper. Nice. When Joker is inflicted with an ailment, he may recover immediately. Nice. <laughs> Detox X. That'd be great. I know. Alright. Would well, be okay if we traded contact information. I'll contact you when I've got time or when I need some input from you. Uh, that should do it. Now. Now let's uh now I'd be oh wait. I better do my part to repay you. Let's talk about mental training and press sense presence. Let's see, first off. Thanks to Maruki's mental training, my mind feels stronger. All right. Oh yeah! <laughs> Your max SP increased by 5. That's really good. That's a free low level magic or whatever. Oh, and here. Uh, never a bad time for a snack, right? Oh yeah! Long side well, again. See you. Thank you for your help today. I'll see you around school. So first things first, I need to see if I can get a counselor persona. Man. I definitely would like to visit him a lot. You really spent a long time talking to Maruki. Let's look how late it is. Well, if you think the sessions are worthwhile, you should try going again sometime. Good night. Well, we should definitely get some sleep for now. Tomorrow's your last day of exams, right? We're gonna s Do we still get to study at least? Let's go to bed. Oh, bitch. I want to watch something. I want to do something. Hey. Fine. <laughs> Damn, Mona. That's okay. Alright, we're going to sleep. Do, 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 do. Sleepy. <laughs> I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today's the last day of exams. Staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. Uh, how manly. Eh, it's what I always do. How many times I fail? Nothing's gonna change. Oh, well, she started to. She actually pulled an all-nighter and studied. Oh, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. Oh, impressive, Lady On. <laughs> You're quite different from the stupid monkey I know. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. <laughs> Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. <laughs> yeah. 
What was that? <sighs> Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Uh oh. Huh? Makoto's watching. Am I imagining things? Uh, what's wrong? What? You see a groper or something? Groper. No, that's not <laughs> it. It's nothing. What you see? Hmm? <laughs> Uh oh. Oh my god, that guy got off. Isn't this bad? Well, who's this guy? Hey, at least act like you care. It's a Yusuke? Fine. Oh, what's his name? I don't remember his name. Huh? Sleeve Rao is bait, huh? <laughs> Surprise name for the next character we're gonna have add to our party. <coughs> yep. <laughs> Creeper. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, are you sure it's him or are you just that self conscious? I'm not that. Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> yeah. You were the one stalking me. Okay, so it's not Makoto watching. Stalking you? That's outrageous. That's outrageous. I know you've been following me ever since the train. That's because. <laughs> my goodness, I had wondered why you left the car. So this is where your passion led. <laughs> All is well that ends well. Led you to a hot girl. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank Sensei. God I up to you. Okay. <laughs> I'd be super creeped out too. Like what, what the? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please. Won't you? Wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. <laughs> a what? M model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious. <laughs> Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? What do you say? Oh, hold your horses! Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm Madarame-sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Madarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke. Yusuke. I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Matarame? Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Well. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are ya? I think I will. But look at the time. I'll see you later. How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. Yusuke.
You became acquainted with Madarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Madarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? In the metaverse. This metaverse business again? <laughs> <sighs> Believe Fine. what you want, girl. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness, never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Were you related to those as well? Uh, I don't know. Hmm, I see. <laughs> Fine. Let's get back to Madarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. Hmm. There's the last day of exams, huh? Seems like some of those were kind of tough. Yep. Well, wasn't too bad. You should have gotten a decent score, right? As we don't have to answer anything. But yeah, got a perfect score. Uh, finally done with exams. Hey, are you going to go in for counseling? I saw the volleyball guys getting called in. Oh shit, I got that question wrong. <laughs> I know, right? I feel like I have to protect that teacher. A uh, what? Teacher. Uh, it's over. It's over. <laughs> it's over. How about you? It's over. <laughs> I'm uh, feeling confident. You traitor! <laughs> Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Uh, like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. Guess we have to go to Mementos. Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi. Sixty then. bucks. Or domestic raised eel. Eel. We don't have that much left. <laughs> oh right, there are those tickets to Madarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight mm -hmm. with that Yusuke guy? It's not like that. Oh, of course not. <laughs> when I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Madarame, was it? Madarame. I'm curious, too. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> Fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. It's lame. If everyone's going. It's settled then. Uh, should be fun. Just the phrase going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. What? Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Sounds good. Can't even go to the okay. anywhere. Chris didn't know if this Madarame has anything to do with the name we heard in Mementos. We can't afford to be late tomorrow. Better not uh, go out right now. Yeah, I guess we had to go straight to bed. So I keep thinking about what uh, Naka Nahara said. Could he be, or could he have been talking about that famous artist Madarame? Sounds, sounds about right. Seconded. Great. Uh, the name really stood out to me. Yeah, I mean, you guys... Uh, you guys ever heard of someone else called Madarame? It's really not common at all. If what we heard is true, Kitagawaku is studying under a corrupt teacher. 
How about you, Yusuke? Um, you mean a teacher who treats people like tools? And Kitagawa's life is probably pretty terrible. Oh, I had it on. Auto. We gotta look into this. I'm assuming I can't do anything. Oh, you wanna do it? Oh, I might be able to do something. Okay. My three. I'll make one lockpick. What's up? Uh, it's not worth it. What's up? Uh, stop. Let's go watch the DVD. Unless, oops. Oh, we can't hang with anybody. Yeah, let's watch this DVD. Whoa! Let's add some charm up in here. Uh, you think I go out with her? What do I look like? What? You liar! You told me you loved me just last night! <laughs> oh no! It's a show about young adults set in the ritzy upscale neighborhood of Bubbly Hills. <laughs> Bubbly Hills. <sighs> Whoa, is this how high schoolers, or what high schoolers are like overseas? <laughs> Don't get any ideas. Uh, all right. Hey, hey. Mm, I really felt their desperate need to be loved by someone. Maybe you learned a thing or two about charm by watching this drama. Well, then. well it's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? Dun, 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 dun. What tryhards? Admin has to be trolling. All right, what is this line for? Oh, the ex exhibition must be opening today. It's really packed. Want to come back another time? I want it, but it's so pricey. I should take out a loan. Or what? <laughs> I want to see that. Let's go some, uh, together sometime. These like thoughts are pretty funny. All right. Let's... So crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? Yeah. Sounds like he's you just came. poking his whole body uh, out. Yeah. You really came. You really came. <laughs> when you left us those tickets. Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Bruh. Come now. I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw too. Well, see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Will Lady Han be alright? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I told you not to come out! <laughs> Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? Uh, let's learn about Matarame. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it's it not... is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart. Like cheap. bubbles rising yeah. one after another in the spring. Funny. Naturally, cheap. you say. What's important I mean, is to distance myself, myself from worldly so, so. desires such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day! Hey, stop pushing! Ugh, there's way too many people! I'm getting crushed! Anyways, we gotta head for the exit! Don't die on us, alright? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, since he creates all this by himself, he's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. 
Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Oh, he's a bitch. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person! This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this... strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <sighs> Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than... this one. Come now, this way. H hey Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. But thanks to that, I remember now. Ah, oh, what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. Shaq. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. Kitagawa. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh. Don't want that. Yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Mm, he does. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? Parmy wants to go back to the Japanese. By the way, <laughs> what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitago Akun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect oh, yeah. timing. Let's Set try to trap. Tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden. <laughs> what? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In any case, we need to find out if that rumor about Madarame is true. If it is, this might just be exactly what we needed. Well then. It reminds me of the home shopping programs are today. You want to check it out? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Hi everyone, it's time to do some shopping. So, allergy relief pack, calming mask. There's more cosmetic cure gifts. Hmm. Gift for a confidant. Uh, I don't know what I want this time. Oh, should I just go with the more expensive gift? Business confusion. Yeah, I don't think. That's not really useful, because I do have Patra. 
Just waste all my money. It's fine. Oh, another buyer has just called in. Thank you so much. It's been like three weeks, and we haven't really done much in Memento, so we're slowly getting broke, but I think the next pal is about to open up. Skip that. Uh, can't hang out with anybody, so... Let's just watch the other half of that DVD, I guess. Actually, what's this option? Time to clean up. Time to do some work for the chief. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, let me just... I actually don't know how much kindness we get from that. Let me finish this DVD out, and then next time we can do that if there's nothing else to do. Oh. Hmm. I guess if you're okay with the fact that I have a girlfriend, a what? Maybe we can work something out here. No. It's a drama about uh, romantic hijinks. <laughs> what? Man. Oh, no way. He can't date her if he already has a girlfriend. It's the drama. Oh. So we finished watching Bubbly Hills 90210, huh? Hmm. It's really funny. Okay. Let's go return DVD soon. Well, so we can get the kindness DVD. Oh, okay, let's get started. Maruki. Hey there, I'm Dr. Maruki, your school counselor. Thanks to the school, I can even talk to you outside of counseling now. I want to talk about mm, how mental health and Perception can affect you. Don't worry, I don't want to stress you out or anything. Just relax and listen. How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? So, See, what's going on in your mind can affect your body pretty significantly. There's proof it can even heal you, depending on your outlook. So, Dreamkun. A what? Any ideas? What do we call the phenomenon where believing in a treatment's power is enough to pr improve your condition? Placebo. The placebo effect. This is it. That's right. Yep, that's correct. Some people specify that placebos don't actually have any curative properties. But even if the medicine does nothing chemically, it can affect your perception and help you heal better. On the other hand, if you don't trust the medicine to begin with, it might make you feel even worse. We call that a nocebo. <laughs> a what? <laughs> I have not heard of that before. Nocebo. Hey, did you get that question? I wasn't even close. Maybe I should ask if I could borrow his notes. Wow, you must be really smart. Yeah, we are. I definitely knew that outside of this game. Hmm. That's just one example, but my point is that our minds and bodies are more connected than we think. So it's important not to push yourself too hard. Remember, your mind needs time to rest too. And it's my job to help you with that, or to help with that. So come by the nurse's office whenever you're feeling down. Hmm. The mind affects the body, huh? You think I'll change back into a human if I just believe it? Or believe in it hard enough? No. <laughs> you're screwed, Morgana. You're screwed. Okay. We are going to Yusuke's joint. The Madarame exhibit is great. You gotta go see it. I've been uh, feeling pretty down lately. Maybe I should go to counseling. I never knew that art could be so explosive. Have you been to counseling yet? <laughs> The Madarama exhibit, huh? Uh, when is it until? Probably like three weeks. And that's all the time we have until Man, oh, we can by train. steal his heart. This ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. <laughs> the train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Yeah. Hey, who are you calling? A pet? <laughs> Whoop. Dude, be quiet. We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. A what? Oh, kitty. No. Oh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. Uh, this is a stuffed animal. Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. Press on its head. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, again. Uh, time to button mash. 
We'll be nice to you. Ah! <laughs> Morgana likes it. <laughs> the next stop is Shibuya. 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 Open on the left side. Booyah. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye bye. Uh huh. Bye bye. <laughs> Aw. Cute kid. That's why Magano's really getting into it. So, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. What? Then we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Stab your car. Yeah, bro, we're broke. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist. Looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. Let's move. Oh, yeah, Central Station already. Is it upstairs? I don't remember. It is not that way. Central Street? Is it this way? Must be in residential area past Central Street. Uh, we'll have to walk a bit though. Okay, let's get going. What's this guy? Haru Kamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Shujin. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience. conscience huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? <laughs> no one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently. Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. <laughs> this guy. People really do live here. Takamaki. Yeah. You do you. Are here as well. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, hey. but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we got to ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. This? This? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty Preposterous. Preposterous. Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home. This is no act of violence, it is charity. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. Bitch. That, that is utter oh. rubbish. Rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. Stalker. If you continue <laughs> to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day. You really oh. think that? Yusuke. Oh. What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. 
<clears throat> that was discourteous of me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful <laughs> emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Nah. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Matarame has a palace too, right? But why? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? Shaq. These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Matarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. <laughs> they can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? Ah, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Well, at farm. <laughs> farm. Not a single hit. Museum. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. Museum. If we think from there, what would it be? Museum. Beginning navigation. Beginning navigation. Whoa, really? Seriously? Oh yeah. Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would have figured it out once you started walking on two legs. <laughs> got him. So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yeah, especially Morgana. Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that. I guess that's Look. true too. Look at that. That shack is seriously some kind of museum. Let's go check it out. Alright, we're going in. I was wondering when we can actually come in here. It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. Mm -hmm. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? Oh yeah, true. Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Yes. Oh well then, it's time we begin our infiltration. Nah, uh, we're gonna have to wait in the, that gigantic line. Uh. 
Don't be stupid. We're not going in the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. Shall we go? Uh, we'll just have to find our way up over it then. In any case, let's get going. Let's do it. And save. I feel like halfway through I might switch it back to Japanese just because I like Japanese. Are we going? Yep. This is really how he thinks of this, uh, that rundown shack. It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's just not hitting me that this is that old guy's palace. Uh, that's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. Yeah, hopefully I can get a counselor persona at some point. Find Washi. I have something. I don't there's anything down there. Can I go that way? Guess not. Uh, everyone, yeah. Alright, let's get inside. I can feel it. Hey! Oh, the skylight's open. I think we can get in here. That's a pretty far drop. Uh, will we be able to get back out this way? Now's my time to shine. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist, after all. So what's your call, Joker? One head side. Let's do this. So I wonder why we wouldn't go in. How suspicious. It's quiet in here. Almost eerily so. Oh. Uh, hey, th this. It's moving. Come on, we're in a palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out over. Hmm. Hmm. The palace reflects its ruler's heart. You may want to check out these paintings, or you might want to check these paintings out. City kettle. Is there stuff up here? Oh, there is stuff up here. Crappy portrait. That's funny. Alright, let's, uh... Let's see what's up. Oh, hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. It's someone's name and age? What the hell? That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's an... The artist's name? Hmm. Uh, let's check the other paintings too. I think there might be something important about them. Hey, hey. I'm curious about the other paintings too. Come on, let's look at the next room. Oh, these are all the plagiarized peoples. I can feel it. I can feel it. Keep looting everything. Oh, yeah, I need more silk yarns. I can feel it. I can get a third one somewhere. It's a lot of portraits. Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles. But all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the. Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy? Oh, that guy. Mentos? You know, the, the one who was shit talking Madarame? Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. It's him, alright. I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. Hey, look! So there's even a painting of this dude in here. Focus. <sighs> it's kind of creepy seeing all these people on the walls. It's nice and all, but huh? no way, it's Yusuke. Hey, isn't this a painting of 
that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Kitagawa. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Marami's peoples. I think you're right. For real? All of them? For real? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. All right, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. It's somewhere. Work mark. Wait! <laughs> Shall we avoid touching stuff we don't need to? But we need that shortcut, though. It's a chest. Chest! There's some sort of brochure here. What, you find something? Uh, we're here to investigate, so we should check uh, everything that catches our attention. Like these treasure chests. Straw at all. Oh, that's to defend against, like, insta kill the, uh, Joker. things. Oh. Yes. Weapon? Oh yeah, weapon. Oh, this beauty looks like it's just my size. This is mine now, all right? Sounds good. Yep. Nice. Let's see if he makes me look at it before I move to the next room. Yeah. Wait. I'm going, I'm going. Aww. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why is he bothered making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it, take it with us. Oh, it's a map. Oh, yeah. yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. Mm, that is a possibility. At the very least, it should be a good reference for the scale of this place. Oh, nice. Huh? But the map only shows half of the museum. I see. It says it's one out of two. <sighs> the, you know, the two out of two has got to be around here somewhere, right? Just how big is this palace? We can worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is confirming Madarame's cognition. We may have to consider, uh, reconsider our plan, uh, depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty sketched to me. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Look at this. Look at this. The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Rest of their lives? Those who cannot do so have no worth living? A what? Hey, That's wild. this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it! What a phony geezer! <laughs> what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. <laughs> Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... Trap hole. He's treating them like slaves or tools. Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up. He doesn't know about it. He did say that he owes Madarami oh, his life that for being taken in. But still, when we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? Hmm. Let's do this. That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. You're right. 
I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. A famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. Mm, reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe them your if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitakawaku, uh, Madarama isn't a problem. Something wrong? Yeah, a little. I mean, I know Madarama is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of the, his victims. Yeah, I guess that's uh I guess that part's totally different from what happened with Kamashida. Uh, this might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Maram is worth going in uh, after or not? I don't know, if it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Uh, can you ask Yusuke? Oh. Okay, okay, got it. I guess we can talk about uh, we can talk some more about that after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Hey. Oh yeah. Sorry about this box. Omnivitamin. Uh, so I watched the rest of that. Uh, aren't you tired? What? You ain't tired. Shut up. <laughs> we ain't tired. Hey. Nice. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh. We do have some nutrients. Let's give that mega fertilizer. Oh. Mm, so you use that one? You must really care about this plant. Oh yeah, I do. Give me that kindness, baby. I'm pretty sure it's free. Free kindness as well. Do for a while. Mm. Uh, fine. Uh, I'm actually it. just gonna switch to Japanese now then. Maybe I should just play all in Japanese just because I didn't get a chance to the first time around. Switch it back real quick. Yeah, I guess I'll just play through this all in Japanese. Um, oops. But yeah, I do have the original Persona 5 on my PlayStation. So I might play it off stream just so I can import whatever it is you can import. I'm not even sure what you can import. Let's call it and go to bed. Nope. Are we just a bunch of thugs? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Judging books by the cover, but it's not people are. Um, take them down. <laughs> It's hard being the friend in the middle. Viral marketing. Who made this site? 
Uh, all right, I contacted contacted Kitagawa Kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Um, uh, just be yourself. That's actually kind of hard. Oh, what? Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madarame, remember? And that is true. It sounds like Kitagawa Kun wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Oh. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. Dun, 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 dun. ガガ君から返事来たよ。今日の放課後来てほしいって。それは願ったりだ。最速で予定に入れやがったな、あいつ。パレスで見たこと。本当かどうか北川君に確認しないと。おい、静かにしろ。例の。パレス。おい、スパ
ただ今日はちょっと調子が出ない悪いが日を改めさせてくれふざけんな<笑>何時間待たされたと思ってんだよ<笑>ごめん今日ね話があってお前んとこの先生の噂だよあ、ま、それかですげえ私が古典で見たあの絵本当は北川君が描いたんだよねそれはやっぱりそうなんだお前の先生マジやべえんだけど弟子をただのものだと思ってやがるだから盗作だろうが虐待だろうがそんなのお構いなしってわけだ言っとくが俺らに隠し事は通用しねえからな<笑>え何を言ってるんだか逆らえなかったんでしょうでも私たちならきっと力にやめてくれお前たちの言う通り俺たちは先生の作品だ勘違いしないでくれよ俺は自分から着想を譲ったんだこれは盗作とは言わない先生は今スランプなだけだどういうことだ違う北川君出てけばいいだろ弟子にもみんな逃げられてそれでお前一人ってことじゃねえのかよ弟子が師匠を助けて何が悪い被害者はどこにもいない身勝手な正義を押し付けるな But he's dealing. You okay with this? What is this? This is the sense of society. So, no, 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 今日はモデルをお願いしたんだ。そもそも他の二人を呼んだ覚えはない。だとこら。リュウジ、やめなって。<笑>落ち着こう。そ通報はやめておく。ただし、条件。Leave my ass alone。条件。高巻さんにモデルを連れてほしい。Oh, でもさっき違うって。俺は俺が無意識に君に遠慮してしまっていたからけども心配しなくていい君が全てをさらけ出してくれる<笑>俺も全身全霊を込めて最高のラフガに仕上げてみせるはあ What? ラフヌード理想のモデルでラフガをかけるなってもちろんお前らは入れないし今日の話も忘れてもらうそろそろ新作を先生に提出しないと。Inconveniences get whipped. ラフってヌードでしょ ?Without any clues. なんでそんな話になるのそれが条件だからだ。だ。そんなのって。いや、それまずくね。古典の会期中なら、昼は先生も不在が多いし、ここを好きに使えるな。少し画材を足しておこう。ちょっと待って<笑>もちろん、まと、君に合わせて、いつでも予定を分ける。ご点が終わる頃までには来てくれ。違う、違うって、何勝手に。そろそろ先生がお戻りになる。今日はここまでだ。高巻さん、連絡を待ってる。ダメダメ、話終わってないから。See you, Pervert. おい、どうするよ。Uh, we have to leave. <laughs> you got us good. Because Ryuji is jumping the gun too much. Not too fast. Let's go. Neko. Stupid cat. That's <laughs> stupid cat. ヌードおのれゆうすけやつのあの言い方じゃ
<笑>でも北川君はマダラメを本陣って思ってる改心させる必要あるのかなじゃあアンドノはフルにペンやらねえからマダラメだってカモシだと変わんねえやろうはいらっしゃいペンけど本人にそれでいいとか言われたままだとなんか悔しいっていうかアンドノはカモシタのこと耐えてたからユウスケに思うとこがあるんだなとにかく絶対狙うべきだろマダラメは待ってた大物だしよユウスケの目も覚
Oh, what? Why would you do this? Why you do this? I found out something insane about Madarame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Madarame stealing his work. It's unforgivable. That journalist was looking into Madarame too. It'd be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Kitagawa kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he probably gonna be on edge about us. Well, anyways, uh, Madarame is still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. I'll be. Uh, it'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, I think it's probably a good time to stop, even though I didn't really get into the next palace. But that's okay. Uh, we'll just try to pick it up next time.